Thanks. Well, certainly, like a lot of uh, companies in our space, we saw April, uh, actually starting in mid-March, we saw a downdraft and, uh, the, and with advertisers pausing, uh, pulling, uh, changing creatives, that sort of thing. Uh, the good news was we saw that kind of bottom out in April and we've been growing nicely since. Uh, we have, you know, we work in, it's a, it's a very mixed bag. Uh, we work with a lot of SMBs and they have been hit probably harder than some of the larger advertisers where they just shut down. But on the flip side, um, we have very uh, strong offering in connected TV. And so that's continued to grow. Actually, it's been double more than uh, doubling through this time. Uh, and then also we have a very strong addressable product, which also has continued to grow. So we've had some downdrafts, some updrafts. Uh, the good news is it's uh, all heading back the right direction. Um, to us, addressable is the ability to target programmatic advertising, whether that's mobile, uh, display, or connected television advertising at the household level. So advertisers can select households either using demographics built into our platform, or they can bring first party uh, lists of their uh, of their customers and target just those households uh, with uh, with the right ads that they want to provide and then also I think really importantly and one of the things that uh, CTV brings to the party is really good attribution so the ability to see of those households which ones of them actually converted online or which ones of them uh, actually visited uh, their store as uh, which becomes important uh, as different parts of the country open up. Um, you know, just like I mentioned with different targeting types, different media types has been up and down. Uh, we've also seen different industries, verticals. So things like auto, which has been a very strong uh, player for us, immediately took a drop. But actually, that's coming back pretty nicely. Uh, food and restaurants is coming back nicely. Um, health uh, services where at hospitals are trying to get elective surgeries back is also coming back nicely. We also see some travel and tourism that's uh, that sort of stayed in the basement uh, even even th here we are in uh, in June um, one of the interesting things though about local is that we see a lot of national advertisers acting locally because all of a sudden what they were thinking of as a national buy uh, they may have very different priorities as different parts of the country are opening up and so they want different messaging uh, in different parts of the company sometimes they want to be running campaigns or not running campaigns in, di in different parts of the country so we see a lot of national advertisers advertisers acting, uh, taking their campaigns and, and acting lo more locally with them just because the country is uh, in such a varied state of uh, reopening right now. Um, so politics is a active area. We saw some early on. It's a little bit in a lull now. We expect it to pick back up in the second half of the year. One of the um, one of the things that we see is the ability to target, or that we have with our addressable solution, is the ability to target just in congressional districts, just just uh, households that are uh, leaning one way or the other, or donating to one party or the other. Um, and then uh, and then also track that back to a web conversion if they're trying to get signups or donations or what have you. So uh, political, as you know, is very cyclical, um, but is uh, is something where this year, um, especially I mean, think about the last four year cycle. Connected TV really wasn't a thing. So this uh, whereas uh, the 2016 election was kind of the in my view, the election of, of uh, social media. Um, I think the 2020, this coming election, will really be defined by the way candidates use uh, connected TV. Changes. What's the challenges in in buying uh, buying across these CTV platforms? Uh, are you happy with the way things are? Could it be better? Uh, what are your hopes uh, in terms of uh, activating on CTV? Right. So I think it's it's both. We're uh, you know, hey, we've come a long way uh, and we've got a long way to go. I think the biggest differences over you know uh, last year or two is the increase in scale of quality inventory. We've always known and advertisers have always known, hey, when you do this, it'll be very targetable. It'll be very attributable. Um, but what was lacking a couple of years ago was just good scale, uh, high, scale and high quality inventory. So that's that's coming along. It has it. Uh, and so we've seen, especially uh, for a lot of these local budgets, there's plenty of scale to target a very targeted audience. Uh, and, and get that delivered. Um, and we expect as, uh, you know, as time goes on, that trend will just continue. It's really kind of like we're watching the movie that we seen earlier in the display business, uh, where originally it was just uh, lower quality inventory, but it became a better way for publishers to monetize as time went on. Same thing with mobile. Uh, it was, it, it's gotten better and better as, as publishers had said, hey, this is really a way for me to monetize my high quality inventory. And, uh, and we're seeing the exact same thing happen uh, in, in the OTT and CTV advertising space.
Um, so we're uh, continued focus, uh, and we're very focused on sort of independent agencies and, uh, and local advertisers and multi-location brands. So we continue with that. Uh, we've grown up, uh, you know, really in the display and then in the mobile space. And really the fastest growing part of our business now is uh, connected TV advertising. We think that is going to be a... Uh, uh, that's going to be a growing area for years. And then really beyond that, it's really tying those things together. Customers are looking less and less for points for advertisers, less and less for point solutions, and really for uh, the types of solutions where uh, they can advertise across different media types. And we're very focused on programmatic media types at this point um, and allocate budgets and see consolidated reporting. So um, this world of whether it's omni-channel or multi-channel, but the ability to offer an advertiser a broader range of uh, advertising solutions both in programmatic, we're uh, offering a Facebook solution uh, as well here, uh, just starting being launched uh, currently. That sort of broader solution to be able to help automate and solve uh, advertisers' uh, um, problems is really what we're looking at.